Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm doing a uh, small update on this single phase generator. And as before, I did a test with the uh, ferrite core and the magnets on the back. Today I'm doing the same test, but this time I have in there an alloy 50 cores. One on this side, as you can see over here, and one on this side. I'm running it at a speed that gives me around 20 7 to 28 volts it's now 27.2 last time with the ferret core when I had this kind of voltage and I put the magnets it went from 27 to 37 so now I'm gonna put the magnets I'm gonna put the camera over here yep they are in place now and as you can see, the voltage has jumped not to 37, but to 49 and a half, something like that. So basically, this core with this magnet now is giving me far more output than with the small ferrite and the uh, magnets on the back. Uh, like I said, that core is the alloy 50. But it is not, uh, it is a very good material for uh, magnetic flux, I can tell you that. But in this case it is not so good because as you can see there is a hole in there. Because that uh, core looks like this. And that is not very good of course because this hole means a lot less material for the flux. But it is what I had now and I am not going to cut it because it is very expensive this stuff. But anyway, so yeah, that is, is a pretty good increase in uh, in output. Gonna oh yeah, let's check that RPM. The RPM is now fifteen. Sorry, seventeen seventy-two. Let's put a DC load on it. There's a little load. 1 watt load, voltage has dropped to 9.4 and of course that is not the best way to reduce that voltage but anyway this is running pretty smooth let's see what the RPM is doing now it was before uh, 1772 and now 1767 uh, so for now it has only dropped 10 rpm which is not bad let's give it some more time as always showed in the dark eh, one watt load it's pretty decent it's not that bad it's better than before that is for sure showing you the uh, apparatus in the light Let me check that RPM once more time. Yeah, still 17, 70, sorry, 68. So the RPM drop is only 10 or 9 RPM, which is pretty good actually. Not bad at all. All in all, very good update and very good uh, improvement of the. Uh, of the uh, how you say that the output and with this kind of voltage I can also light up this EC load now bingo that's the voltage now that's DC of course this one is EC let me put it let me check the EC voltage on that light bulb wait for it There's the EC voltage I have now, 51. What I'm gonna do now is remove the two magnets. Crap, give me a second. And as you can see, I have absolutely no output now because the voltage is way too low. It's only 30. 30 volt EC, no light output. 
Let me put back again the two magnets. And of course the moment I do that, I have nice bright light at 50 something volt EC. Pretty awesome. Give you a shot of that one. The other side of my laboratory. It's pretty bright indeed. Not bad. Okie dokie. Um, did I forget something? Yeah, whatever. Anyway, let me shut it off. Uh, what I'm gonna do next, because you can see your wheel over there already. The next step for me is um, to do coil shorting. I have here a wheel with, uh, it's supposed to have 12 magnets. But uh, I test it by hand and uh, having the magnets so close together, the reed switch stay close all the time, so it's no good. So I'm only gonna short the coil uh, six times every revolution, which is uh, not that good. 12 would be better, but for now it will do. Uh, this update in a few days time. As always, hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.